people. I haven't been on here for a long time, right? But I just had to say this today. And uh, I've been off for what, since March? And now it is uh, almost July. Now, I'll wait till some of y'all get on here, but I'm gonna get started anyway for people who miss it and see it later on, okay? Now, I see a lot of things going on lately. I've been seeing a lot of things. And one of the things that disturbs me the most is people's lack of knowledge about themselves. It's like we're in a time, right, where, hmm, and I know I just came back on here. I was just chilling. I had some thoughts and I was like, you know what? I think more people need to hear this. And you, you need to hear this from me. And I don't, I'm not here to debate facts. So after this video, whatever you want to do. Is whatever you're gonna do. What's going on, y'all? Yeah, I did. I grew my beard out. I grew, I grew my hair back. All that stuff. All with health. I'll give y'all my recipe one of these, when I come back with a later video. But I've been seeing a lot of people acting like sheep. Like big time sheep, right? Now, if this doesn't apply, let it fly. But I want you to, I want to, I want to just explain this whole mask, mask thing to you. Because it's just, to me, it's the dumbest shit I've ever seen on this planet as of late. And I've seen a lot of dumb things from a lot of dumb people. But this here is being done by people who I consider smart. Who I consider intelligent. This mask. This fear. Now, some people understand what manifestation is. And understand that fear is one of the greatest energies that you could have. So when you wear a mask, fearing something is going to come to you, do you realize the law of reversal is going to take over and it's going to come to you? Do you realize that we're all carriers of this virus, right? Do you realize we're all carriers? And when you wear this mask, are you feeling uncomfortable? Do you feel uncomfortable? Do you feel like you can't breathe? You wear this mask, like when you walk in stores or you're working for somebody, do you feel like you can't breathe? Hmm? How do you feel? How does it make you feel? Do you know the first people who really wore a mask were slaves? Like a muzzle. Well, guess what? They're reminding you that you are a slave. <laughs> They're reminding you. And guess what? Many of you are acting like it. And I don't care who takes this personal because maybe you need to hear this so you can act like you got some sense. We all got to die someday. I'm not going to die in fear. I'm going to get outside. I'm going to get some of this oxygen. I'm going to breathe. I'm not going to be a pussy. And ooh, 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 ooh. I'm not going to be jogging with a mask on. I'm not riding my bike with a mask on. I'm not playing basketball with a mask on. The only time I'm going to wear a mask is when I got to go shopping. And as soon as I walk out that store, that shit's coming off. Because guess what? I Let me tell you about these masks. These masks don't stop nothing. If, I, if, if, if somebody passed gas in front of you, right, with this mask on and you smell it, do you think it can stop anything else? Do you think it can stop anything? Like, do you actually think it can stop anything else? I mean, seriously, I need you to really think. I mean, it's like so many people are lacking common sense. It is blowing me away. I like people that I'm like, really? You, uh, you're outside, but you're outside, but you're outside right now. Like you're outside. Why do you need it? Why do you need it? Now, here's one thing I can tell you. If you're not in an alkaline state, your body is already compromised to begin with. But when you breathe in that mask, you are breathing in your own carbon dioxide. And it's going back into you over and over and over again. Now, let me ask you a question. How many of you are actually wash, washing your mask every day? Don't lie, because only you know. Don't lie. Don't lie. How many are actually wash, washing your mask. I know it's a small number. 
which means that the bacteria, your own carbon dioxide is putting into that mass, is staying into that mass. And then when you put that mass back on your face, guess what you do to your immune system? You make it more compromised. And then when they come with this second wave and they are coming with a second wave and you're not ready because you're wearing masks every day and every night and it's breaking down your natural immune system, right? It's breaking it down. Now, you don't even realize that when you're supposed to be around people, you know, building up your system from the bacteria that's in, you're supposed to naturally be able to fight this stuff. <laughs> and now you're getting weaker. Now, for the older people, you are at most risk than almost anybody older and unhealthy. That's why this first wave, it killed a lot of people who are older and people who are unhealthy. I didn't see any vegans die with this first hit. I didn't see any, not real vegans, not vegans. I'm not talking about those vegans who eat a bunch of vegan snacks and all that soy horse shit. Not that stuff, because that stuff ain't good for you at all, just so you know, all right? So when y'all eat that every day and you're like, I'm vegan, but you're eating vegan hot dogs and vegan burgers, that ain't vegan, all right? So, so chill, that's not vegan, that's not vegan at all. I'm talking about real vegan, like eating electric food, like real actual electric food. That's vegan, okay? Just so you know, all right? And I'm talking about food. And if anybody hasn't started a garden, what are you doing right now? Like, hmm? Like you, you, you live in an apartment. You can start a garden. Let me show you my garden real quick. All right? That's my garden real fast. That's my garden, right? I got, I got mad stuff over there. Now, all that stuff right there, that started from, most of this stuff right here, like on the left right here, that started from pots. That started from just pots in my, on, on my back porch. And I just made it, right? Because when you eat food that you actually can plant, it actually communicates with your body differently. But if you're going to the produce and you're getting some vegetables, nobody should be eating an acidic diet right now. And if you didn't take it seriously before, I suggest you take it seriously now. Now, I'm not here to debate whether this is 5G or the corona, but I am here to tell you that something is here and something is offing people whether they're inflating their numbers or not. And when somebody tells you to put a mask on that puts you into a state that makes your immune system weaker, you must question these things. Now, I'm not, I'm not telling you what to do because you're an adult and you can use your own mind. And I hope that you start to use your own mind because I'm seeing a lot of people living in fear. And it's sad to see because you can't talk to everybody about it. People really getting defensive about it, you know, and I'm not here to, to do that. That's why I come online. That's why I come online and talk to y'all because maybe y'all listen to me, you know, but I don't, I, don't, I don't really debate with too many people. I don't debate. I really don't. I just, I just give my actual opinion because people who are realists like me, we just, we have, it's like a gift and a curse to see things as they are and to comment about them, I see this as it is. And because I just like to say what's on my mind, I'm gonna say what it looks like. And to me, it looks like a setup. It looks like a setup. And somebody said, let the dummies die. And you know, Ernest, it's, it's sad to say, but a lot of people that swore they were doing the right thing, no matter who gives them the facts, are probably going to die. They are, I mean, they are. And it's crazy. You know, and they think they're doing the right thing. That's the wild part. They think they're doing the right thing. You're, you're not doing the right. Like if you're watching this video and you feel like, you know, the, the mask is like the best thing for you. Well, do you know they're making you break the law, right? Because you're actually not supposed to wear a mask inside. Just so you know. I mean, you know, it's supposed to protect the air that comes in, but not the air that goes out. But the air that goes out is being recycled through your system, which is the air you're supposed to breathe out, the carbon dioxide. And when you're out here in nature right and you're breathing everything in and you're interacting with people your immune system is getting stronger and stronger and stronger but when they get make us when they make us separate from each other and make us take six feet from each other and all that stuff it's actually changing the way we communicate with each other as humans we're supposed to interact with each other just so y'all know we're supposed to be like do you, do you see the setup that's going on right here and i see a lot of people out there protesting and everything and and i mean y'all do what y'all do but i mean ah I never seen a protest work. I just, I just haven't. I mean, that's just me. Like, I, I, I mean, I seen, I seen the grandparents try to do it. I seen people try to do it, but I ain't seen it work. So we might have to figure out something else.
we might have to figure out something else. I mean, that's just me. I mean, I think, I think it should be a different type of action. But, you know, I talk about what kind of action it should be on Patreon. Because I don't want to be inciting, inciting no riots or nothing like that on here. Or inciting no, you know, make y'all do something wild or stupid. Or not, it's not stupid, but I mean, you want your rights. You, then you ain't been getting treated equal. So, I mean, you, you might want to fight for it. But, I mean, it's up to you. You know, I mean, that's just you. You know, but, you know, I mean, I'm just letting y'all know. Stop listening to everything the TV says. Stop listening. Tell lies to your vision, television programming. I mean, come on. Come on. You're watching things that are spelling you to death. And you're saying these things out your mouth. You don't even realize that most of these words in the English, English language have double meanings. Double meanings and their spells and cantations that we are trained to say back to ourselves to actually put ourselves in a lower vibrational state. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy, yo. It's crazy. And I've been just taking time, you know, just discovering more and just reading all the time, discovering myself. You know, more and more, the guy you once knew, he died. So I have to figure out how this new guy is going to live, which is why I took the time off of YouTube. I'm probably going to go back to taking my time off of YouTube. I'm not really big in media right now. I'm just, I'm trying to figure some things out because this world is losing its mind. Literally, I'm just, I never would have thought I saw the day where people would literally, you know, have to walk around with muzzles on and be fine with it and fight you when you tell them not to put it on or fight you when you say you ain't afraid of this coronavirus because we all got to die someday. Well, I'm not about to die in fear. If I got to die tomorrow, at least when I go back to the spirit world, I'm like, well, I wasn't scared. So, I mean, we all got to do it anyway. I mean, see, here's the problem with some people, right? Many people are just literally afraid to die. They're just like, because they don't know what death is. They don't understand what I've been on the other side. I know what it is. Right. I know I got all my answers. I know what it is. Right. And this is a game. This world is a game. It's a game. Like this is like a Sims. This is the game. And many of us chose to come here and play in this game. Well, I didn't. I, when I, when, before I came here, I said I wasn't going to be afraid of nothing in this game. Whether I left, you know, at 37 or 87, I wasn't going to be scared. I'm not going to back. I'm, going, I'm not going in a corner. I'm not going to be wearing a mask all over the place. I'm not going to be scared of any virus that they put out there. And neither should you. Because when you are in fear, you give the oppressors all of your power. And they can influence your thoughts and your actions based off of your fear. And you don't even realize it. You think that people like me are like, oh, my God, he's he's extreme. He's crazy. Wow. He's not wearing a mask. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I'm not afraid of shit. And you, human being, shouldn't be either. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. But, I mean, if you want to give him your power, you're forgetting that you are a god or a goddess. And that's you. But I'm here to tell you that you are a god with amnesia. That's what you are. You are a god with amnesia. You're not the god. You're a particle of the god with amnesia. You forgot your power. And, you, and the people who control this world, they know who you are. Which is why they do so much to keep you blind, deaf, and dumb. Because they know exactly who you are. And they, but they also know who they are or who they are not. Which is why they play the god role in your life. And you listen to them. Imagine a peon controlling a guy like the Wizard of Oz. All this time, she thought the wizard was this big guy with this big voice. But when she pulled the curtain around, he was just a peon. Interesting. That is how the ones who are, are that literally influence you. They influence you. They influence your parents. They influence your friends. They influence your boss. They influence your kids. And they do a damn job. And Mac Miz, that's one of my favorite books. The Man from Planet Riz Q. That is one of my favorite books by Malachi Z. York. I've been reading a lot of his books lately. I got about 15 of his books. I read like six already. Maybe, maybe seven. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's a beastie book. Anybody want to get that book? Oh, that book's going to change your whole perspective. Oh, my God. Your whole perspective. Completely.
You know, a lot of my experiences that I talk about that I really ain't going to say online, I talk about on my Patreon. You know, we've been building heavy on Patreon for the past four months. If anybody want to join in there, you can join in there. Patreon.com forward slash Mr. Intensity. But that's what I'm going to leave that there. But I mean, I'm telling y'all people, yo, yo, govern your mind. Your mind is the most valuable thing that you have in your body. Govern your mind. Watch what you put into your mind. Watch what you're listening to. And at this particular time when you're quarantining, you can become easily distracted. Like, easily distracted. It's actually very easy to be distracted right now because, like, they're probably dropping many shows right now, like new shows. Um, you, can, you can sit at home. You can play video games literally all day. You can watch movies all day. But sooner or later, check this, y'all. Sooner or later... All that shit, it all gets boring. It all gets boring. And you're like, damn, what do I do now? I'm bored. How about this? Reading is fun to mental. So try something new. No matter how difficult it hurts, read. Keep on reading so you can break through that barrier of uncomfortability. Like you're uncomfortable. But that's because your brain is not used to it. Work it out. Push-ups. Do brain push-ups by reading those sentences. Every sentence that you read is a push-up. And guess what? The more you do it, the easier it'll become. The more you do it, the more you're going to comprehend. The more you do it, the more you're going to consume. And you're going to become part of what you're reading. And you're going to get more energy from what you're reading. You know what I mean? I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. You know? Serious. Serious. You know? And uh, let me see. Holographic. That's, that's, that's a good book. That's a good book. Um, let me see what other books we're talking about here. Yeah, a lot of, uh, Bobby Hemme, he talked about a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? He talked about a lot of stuff. If anybody want to ask me questions about supplements, you can hit me up on a private tip. I'm not talking about supplements today. I'm just not. I've, I've talked about supplements for like three years, and it's time to evolve with, with what I talk about. And I just don't want to talk about supplements all the time. Y'all know I got supplements. Y'all know how to reach me. I do free consultations. If anybody want to ask a question and you want to know the answer that bad, you can book consultation and go through the chain because I'm not going to divert you know what I mean? Don't, hey, Mac Miz, don't argue with him. This is not about arguing. Do not argue with him. We got people that talk about things all the time. Do not argue with anybody about how such and such is fraudulent. Because all I know is the information is very, 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 very detailed and accurate. But we don't argue with people in here. We don't do that. Don't let them pull you in to what he wants you to pull him into. This is what people do all the time. I don't know anybody personally on here. I just know whenever you try to divert the conversation to about how somebody who helped another individual is fraudulent, what have you brought to value in this world? That's my question. What do you have? To, what, what have you brought? Where is your YouTube channel? Where is your platform? Who have you been helping? Because people who always have this thing about somebody else, always have like a, a conflict with somebody else, I always ask them, what have you been doing in this world to, to, to uplift your people? If you haven't been doing nothing, you have nothing to say. Simple as that. You know what I mean? Look it up. Dr. Malachi Z. York. Look it up. Look it up. You know what I mean? Look it up. But we're not here to argue. We are family. And here's my thing, right? If we can't even get along, right, as a people, we can't even, we can't even agree or disagree sometimes. We just got to fight. Like, if somebody is a Christian and somebody is spiritual, and somebody is Muslims, we all think that we're on like different sides, right? But at the end of the day, the ones who are trying to control us don't give a fuck what we are. But here's the problem. We have no unity as a people. We can't, we can't unify. So because you can't unify, you know what I mean? Because we can't unify, how are we ever going to raise our power? Our power is in unity. Ain't that wild? Our power is in unity. You know what I mean? Hey, Ernest, if you keep on talking about, you know what? How about this? How about that? I don't got time for this. I told, I told this dude not to comment no more. Like, I don't got time for this. We're not arguing here. Like, if we argue on here, how do we raise our vibrational level? If we arguing amongst each other, we worried about dumb stuff. Meanwhile, the one who is controlling us is controlling our money, controlling where we live, controlling who we pay taxes to, controlling everything. But we arguing with each other. <laughs> this is, and this is the wild stuff that, that, this is why other races laugh at us. You know what I mean? This is why other races laugh at us. Because we can't even get along. No matter what, what our background is. Somebody's worried about why, if I got off, I thought, bro, I thought you got off of YouTube. I'm trying to help people out. 
Like, this is the things we worry about. We worry about the, like, if you tell somebody all this stuff, right? They'll say the lowest vibrational thing they can to you to try to knock you off your, knock you off your path. Because they're just low vibrational people. You know what I mean? Low vibrational individuals. And I'm here to tell y'all. I'm getting a foot cramp. God damn. I'm playing ball all damn morning. First time back in months. Ah. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I mean, we, we have to learn how to agree to disagree sometimes. And just be happy with that. And unify against who is really trying to knock us off the knock us out of this world. I don't care if you're a Christian. I still love you. You melanated, right? You want you want you want higher power, right? Right? <laughs> I, I don't care if you're a Muslim and I'm spiritual, so. That's what's up. Do what you do. We can agree to disagree. That's fine. But how about how about the power of our people? Because there's one thing we can also agree on is that we want our people to rise higher, don't we? So who cares what you are? You know? And I think that's what we got to get to. I think that's what we got to get to. For real. I think that we got to start educating our, our children on their real past. You know what I mean? I think that we got to start doing that. Like, not this slavery bullshit. Like, no, 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 no. Because school teaches you about slavery, but that's not where we started. What about the dynasties that we were? You know what I mean? What about that? Oh, 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 oh you, just want, you just want our children to see images subconsciously of us being in chains so we can always think that we're lower vibrational people from the jump. But what about before? You know what I mean? Oh, my God, I got my son on here. What's up? What's up? What's up, Eli? I know that's my, I know that's my youngest son, Elijah. Yeah. You know, what's up, kid? I hope you're being well with your mom down there. You know what I mean? But don't comment no more. <laughs> Just watch. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, like, like my youngest son, he on here. We were reading The Destruction of Black Civilization, some Malachi's New York books, and other stuff that we've been reading. You know, trying to educate your children on, on, what, on what they, who they are so they can feel powerful. Imagine if you, like, even if you're a Caucasian watching this, right? Imagine if the first thing they told you about your history, right, is that you were a slave. Would you think too much of yourself? Would you think that you're, would you see yourself in power? Would you want to be powerful if you only see the other races around you as more powerful than you? Hmm, interesting. So if we don't educate ourselves on who we are, where we really come from, the power of our DNA, how are we going to educate our children? A lot of parents are dealing with the fact that they don't know anything. And because your ego still controls your life, you're butt hurt because you don't know anything. But if you come to the conclusion that you don't know anything and start knowing stuff, you'll be just fine in about a year's time. To the point where you're just talking and you're just, simple conversation with your kids, you're just talking facts. Like talking about melanin, talking about your pineal gland, your kids talking to you about stuff because they are so intrigued about what they're learning and seeing themselves as true power, then they will want to start learning stuff on their own and bringing stuff to you. I learn from my kids sometimes. They be bringing information to me that I never knew because, you know, they're growing up in this internet age and they can use the internet much easily, e easily, easily, easily than we could. But the first thing is not to live in fear, not to live in fear. Stop living in fear. Okay, if a bomb drops right now, like, was I afraid? No, because I know what comes next. Transition, not death. Energy can never be lost. Nor destroy it. It'll only be transferred to the next thing. Where's my energy going to go? Depends how I live here. This is a proving ground for me. I know exactly who I am and where I come from and who I was. That person was very powerful. It is very powerful. And it's still in every last one of y'all. Every last one of y'all. You know what I mean? You are a great, beautiful people. You shift culture popular opinion and all of it and you're controlling it all and you don't even know it they're using it against you and now they're using your fear against you as they always have because you are afraid of everything you are afraid to lose this system you are afraid to take care of yourself because when you take somebody who is a employee employee in a ploy right out of a job right because they got your attention when they took your jobs away didn't they and you're like what do i do now instead of Looking to them, what you should have done is look into you and figure out what is this telling me? Is this telling me that I'm depending on something that controls my life too much? And maybe I should create something of my own 
or when you ran out of food or you were running out of food, wouldn't that tell you, well, maybe the land, which has all abundance and I can go to the store and buy fertilizer if I have an apartment complex, maybe I should start planting my own food. Or maybe, you know, if I understand I need carbs sometimes, maybe I learn how to harvest potatoes because it's so freaking easy, right? Right? What in... You know, and that's with somebody who really wants to like not be controlled because some people, no matter what you say or not, you actually like to be a slave. Ooh, that hurt. Ooh, God damn, that hurt some people, didn't it? Some of y'all like to be a slave. I'm gonna say it again. Some of y'all like to be a slave. It's more comfortable for you to be a slave because to be a slave, you depend on a system that's already created for you. But to not be a slave, you have to create your own system inside your mind first and then act it inside of your ex well, ex external world. <laughs> and as we're seeing, people are panicking because they don't know what to do. A lot of people, because this thing is not really about color. It's, that's the trick. See, color is the trick, right? Color is the trick. Because people up there, the ones who control this shit, right? They don't care about if you're white or black. They're just using it to make you war with the other side. One of the messages that I got not too long ago. It's not about color. It's about spirit. It had nothing to do with color. I mean, we used to run the world. I mean, obviously, but the first devils were black anyway. <laughs> you know? Let's keep it a buck. Truth shit. You know? Truth shit. The first devils were black. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, nobody cares about white or black. That's the trick they've been playing on you. And as you're seeing right now, Black people aren't the only ones wearing a mask. White people are too. Black people ain't the only ones wearing um, losing their jobs. White people are too. Everybody's paying for this one because they're letting you know that you're all slaves. <laughs> you're all slaves. All of y'all. Including me because I live in the system and I still depend on money. I'm trying to kill that by making my garden everything, but I still live in the construct. So I guess I am a slave too. I'm just a slave who's not beat anymore. And I know, I'm, I know that I've been a slave for all my life. Debt slave, all that stuff, you know? You just gotta learn how to play the system until the system changes or falls. Because I'm gonna tell y'all something right now. This system gonna fall very soon. And I suggest you start to learn about living off the land because soon people who only know how to live off the land are gonna be the only ones eating. Hmm? Mm, they're going to be the only ones eating. Mmm. Mmm. And don't tell me you don't have space to start growing your crop. Because last time I checked, everybody has a window. Everybody has a window. Mmm. Mmm. It's up to you to see if you actually want to do it. Do you actually want to change your life? Do you actually want to be free? Because to be free means you have to depend on your own hard work and effort to get things done and to eat. So you actually want to be free. Me personally, I do. I don't want to have to pay bills anymore. I don't want to have to pay a license fee anymore. I don't have to want to worry about police anymore. I don't want to worry, well, not the police that run this world. I want to have our own police. I think if we had our own police, that'd be dope. You know what I mean? I just think we do. I just think that will work for me. Me personally. What y'all? What about y'all? You know? What about y'all? For real. What about y'all? But I just got I got I got information on what's coming next. And a lot of y'all, y'all not ready. And a lot of people that we love, you know, that we look up to, they're not gonna make it. And you have to come to the terms. Because and if you really wanna fix them. But you can't, you gotta stop talking and start doing. You gotta fix yourself first. You got to become the example that you're trying to be. You're trying to fix. You want them to be example, but you're still eating bullshit with them? How's that work? How are you telling your, your family, right, that you should be alkaline and everything, but every time you go to a cookout, you're eating the same shit they eat? You know they're watching you like 10 times more? You know that, right? <laughs> you know they're watching you like 10 times more? I always tell people, like, yo, you trying to help your family? So let me ask you a question. When you were at a barbecue with them, what y'all would you eat with them? I ate what they ate. I just ate it one day. I was a cheat, but no, you can't do that with them. They watching you. Your path is really under scrutiny now. They're watching you very closely with a microscope. 
You know what I mean? They watching you with a microscope. And whatever you do is going to influence their actions. Simple as that. Simple as that. You know? I'm telling y'all. Telling y'all. We got to get back in our power, man. This is some bullshit. I'm tired, man. I'm tired of, like, looking at... Like, like okay, I go in the store. I got to wear a mask. But I'm out that store. But I'm like, I see people outside, like... Yo, we not even in the store yet. Why you put this shit on? Like, you know you killing yourself? You know you bringing your own shit. Like, you don't even... Like, nobody even cares. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? <sighs> well, the news said it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, cool. You just let me know who you was. Oh, yeah, the car, too. I see I'm driving. So, you mean to tell me you're in your own car, away from any people, and you're still wearing a mask? And you actually think this is going to help you. But if I pass gas in front of you and you can smell it, you think that you can't get the virus that they say is a virus, right? Hmm. Wow. Wow. This basically, this basically, you know, shows the mindset of the people because I call them like, I call them like Agent Smiths, right? You know, remember the movie, The Matrix? And Agent Smith kept on putting his hand at people and he started to clone all the people to be, to be like him. This is a, now we're seeing the Agent Smith thing happen in real life. Like we're literally living through a movie right now. We're living through a movie, literally. And they literally have been preparing us for this movie for like many years, like movies like Outbreak, movies like Contagion, movies like The Walking Dead. Oh, we are, we are walking around Walking Dead right now. We definitely are. I mean, we really are. We really are. Where can you learn what, Mac Miz? Where can you learn what? I don't know what you're talking about. Where can you learn what? Hey, and any men, any women too, because we have like daily Zooms. Let me just, I'm not going to digress too much, but I just want to talk about this because a lot of y'all are out here on y'all spiritual journeys. And y'all, y'all lonely. Like, like there's been like a heightened rate in like divorces, spouses fighting and everything. Y'all feel like you alone. So what I created on the private side, right, um, was a Patreon. And in the Patreon, we have daily Zooms where we all build and we see each other and we talk to each other. We've been doing this for like four months. And a lot of people have been getting a lot of help with these Patreons, including me. Because we get to literally, you know, have like minds in the group. Let me put the link on here real quick. You know what I mean? Let me see. Where can I, where can I comment on this joint? I can't even comment on my own. Where can I comment? Let me see. I can't comment. Why can't I comment on my own shit? Anyway, so so basically, what I'm gonna say is you just type in patreon.com forward slash Mr. Intensity. By the way, I spell it. I can't type right now. I don't know why I'm on my phone. Maybe my other, and I had another setting or whatever. But whatever. Patreon.com forward slash Mr. Intensity. If anybody wants to build and I'm doing a Patreon today, I'm doing a Zoom at five just for the men. We normally have the women, but sometimes we got to build as men too. You know what I mean? We, but we normally have the women, but they got their own little private group sometimes too. We've just been building, just sharing much my, my information just so you don't fall off the path on your journey. And it's only like 10 bucks. 10 bucks ain't about nothing. Y'all throw away 10 bucks for nothing. Shoot. You know what I mean? Just saying. And we talk about many things, many things like how I got my hair back, you know, because the public's not ready for it yet. I know... When I talk about it, that shit gonna go viral and people are gonna be on some other stuff. Like, yeah, they're gonna be like, I ain't doing that. You're okay, well, you're gonna get your hair back. You're like George Jefferson and fine by me. <laughs> I didn't tell you you gotta do it. I'm just telling you how because you asked me. But you know, sometimes when you ask people, when people ask you, they really don't wanna hear the answer. <laughs> they really, they really don't wanna hear the answer. Like, like, yeah, 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 how you get your hair back? I did this, this, and that. Oh, oh you crazy. All right, cool, I guess I'm crazy. Crazy with a head full of hair. Good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> my hairline was all the way back here. It was like a salute, like bang, you know, a salute all the way back there. But I wanted it back. And I told y'all for years I was going to get it back. And damn it, I did it. So there. And no money, no expensive shit, none of that LeBron James stuff, no surgeries, none of that horse shit. I did it on my own with consistency. And it's just a special ingredient that many of y'all don't want to fuck with. <laughs> Straight up, straight up, man. I've been really, in, I was just really. I hope, I hope y'all been using this time to like just enlighten your minds, 
you know, and to learn something that you haven't learned before. I hope you've been using this time to go in on yourself. You know, when I said I was leaving YouTube, I was done. I was done with this public shit right now. And right now, I might be done again. But I just had this on my mind today. And I felt like I had to say it online and get it out to more people than I've been talking to. You know what I mean? I'm telling you. And I just felt like this was on my mind. I got it out. And I feel good about it. You know, because I'm much more at peace with myself ever since I got my heart chakra blown open. But y'all y'all wonder what these seven dots are, represent seven chakras. I did cambo, and when you do cambo, they have to burn um, holes in your um, epidermis of your skin. And I put it, they put it over my heart chakra, and it made my it made me much more, much more uh, a loving individual, you know, because a lot of us are just too masculine. And I, that was me. I was too masculine, too, too, too angry, you know, but I learned how to channel that now by blowing my heart chakra open by doing cambo. I did cambo again and uh, it really worked. So I'm really calm now. I'm really good. I'm really on a, a peaceful type of vibe, really Zen type of vibe right now because I really love my people. I love my people who are really trying to ascend as many of y'all who feel like y'all alone. Y'all feel like nobody around you understand you, you know, and. You know, there's a community for you on the other side, you know, that we, we build with each other. We understand your you, we understand your plight. We understand what you're going through. We understand that you feel like you alone. We understand that nobody understands how you see things that you're like, how come I can see all this stuff and nobody else can see it? Because you were seeing it for a reason. 2020 perfect vision. Year 2020. You got perfect vision. You can see. You can see. I can see, you know, and I felt just like you. I felt just like you for many years, but I just don't know how to shut up sometimes. I have to say what's on my mind. It's just who I am. And when somebody look at you weird because you don't got a mask on when you're riding your bike, ask them why, you have a, why do you have a mask on and give them some information about it. Give them some information about it. Real rap. Give them some information about it. In real, a real common sense type of way, like, like listen, let me ask you a question, right? Let me ask you a question. If you were getting attacked by mosquitoes, I heard this, I heard this, dope, this dope interview today. Some of my people uh, shared with me. But it was actually a dope analogy. I use the fart analogy, but I'm going to use this one. If you were being attacked by mosquitoes, right, do you use chicken wire to stop them from getting to you? No, right? Because why? Because the chicken wire does not stop the mosquitoes from getting through you. So... If coronavirus was out there in the air or wherever it's at, would you use a mask that only stops the, like it only filters what's coming in and doesn't filter what's going out and you can still smell things? So you can still smell things. You can still catch things too. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to just leave that with you. Just walk away. Don't argue facts. Like I think people get into something where they argue too much. Like, debate is a new battle rap. Like, debate, debating is a new battle rap right now. Like, who got the best debate? So we just sit, on, we, we sit up here amongst each other. We argue in. But one really knows that they're right. You just drop jewels on them and just walk away. Like, because, because, because they're unsure, they're going to try to pull you in to try to get you to, you know, to, to, to go to their side. Because you are sure, just drop it on them and walk away because you don't need to be talking about it. Like, I don't need to talk about it. Why, why am I talking about this for? This is crazy. I'm just trying to help. You know, I'm by. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. I love you. Peace. Simple as that. You know, just walk away. Because if we're going to sit here arguing all this time, meanwhile, the enemy's winning. <laughs> meanwhile, we're being poisoned. <laughs> meanwhile, our water is full of fluoride. Meanwhile, they're throwing chemtrails all in the air. Meanwhile, they're doing all this stuff while we're sitting here arguing about the dumbest shit on earth, whether or not you should wear a mask. You know, when you should be saying, listen, how's your diet, by the way? Because whether you have a mask on or not, you are compromised anyway, aren't you? What are you eating? Hmm? What are you putting into your body? Hmm? Is it electric or is it acidic? Because whether or not you have the mask on, if you're putting the wrong things in your body, you're compromised, aren't you? 
Mmm. <laughs> You're compromised. So I suggest you get outside in nature and charge your melanin. Mm? I can suggest you eat plants and charge your melanin. I suggest you fast. I suggest you go outside with no shoes on and ground yourself in the earth for the root chakra. I suggest you do that. Hmm? And learn how to make better food for yourself. Because since this has happened, I see that McDonald's line through the freaking roof, all the way out in the street. But guess what? If you went to the produce and you bought some fruit, you could get bags of like mangoes and oranges and apples for like a couple dollars. Like for real, a couple dollars. Because you're like, I don't want to eat that. I want to eat something with some flavor. I don't like water. If you're an adult, and you're still telling me I don't like water, I'm gonna hang up on you. If I have a talk with you and you tell me you don't like the way water tastes, I'm hanging up on you. You tell me everything about your maturity level at that point. If we're, so, so if y'all do a conversation with me <laughs> and y'all say y'all don't like water, click, what, hello? Hello? Where Coach Reggie go? Where he go? You told me you don't like water and you're actually a like grown, you're actually not gonna delve. It's like for real. <laughs> I just didn't want to laugh at you, so I hung up on you. You know what I mean? One of them kind of things. <laughs> For real? You're 80% water, dumbass. <laughs> you, you don't like water, but you are water? Hmm. You don't like yourself, I guess. Works for me. If you so, so by saying that you don't like yourself, I'm, I, this conversation is irrelevant totally and utterly. Because if I can't convince you to drink water, I, um, I can't convince you to live. You know what I mean? I can't convince you to live. Mm -hmm. You don't like yourself. <laughs> like, for real. I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm like, yo, people, do you really want to win or you want to lose? Because everything that you've been doing suggests to me you want to lose. Mm -hmm. I think that you want to win. Or maybe you're just telling me you want to win when you're moving in a loss or a lack. Like, many people are thinking too much lack too much. We're, we're thinking too much in lack. We're lack, we're lack, lack, like I don't have, I don't have, I don't have this. I don't have the knowledge. I don't have any money. I don't have any information on growing my own plants. Well, go get it. You're living in the age of information. See, I can understand how our parents and our grandparents didn't um, have this information, but you are living around information nonstop. Oh, but here's the problem with that. You can choose whether you fill your mind with good information or bad information. You can choose. And because you have choice, you choose the wrong things of lower vibration all the time. You choose the food of lower vibration all the time because you have free will. You have a higher and lower self. Your higher self is a self inside of you that says, don't eat that food. The lower self is you and says, it's only just one bite. The higher self in you says, yo, research what this means. The lower self in you says, yo, watch this show. And your life is a total sum of which one you've listened to more than the other. So if you're a fat ass, you listen to your lower self more than your higher self. But guess what? Your higher self never gives up on you. It keeps on whispering and whispering and telling you the right things. And you could literally start today and start listening to that higher self. Because I can guarantee each and every one of you, if you listen to your higher self, Everything, everything is said for one week straight and one week's time you'll be a totally different person because your life will totally and utterly change for the better. Try seven days. You can't even do it for seven days. Damn, you ain't trying to win. For real? For real? You ain't, you ain't trying to do seven days? What? What? Seven days. And then you'll see how much your lower self has been ruling your life. Mm? Mm. Listen to you. Just the better part of you. Check this, right? So before we got here, right, on this plane, it's fun to us to have the war with ourselves. Because when you entered into the avatar you call a human body, you, in your avatar, 
is it exists the lower self of you. See, your higher self is what leaves the body, right? When you go back to the spirit realm and you have no emotion, because when you're in the spirit realm, you have none of this stuff called emotion. Like time, time is a construct which you can, you know, you can get. Like right now, we're 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 playing this game called life. It's a game. It's called life, right? That's where we at. We are here on life, experiencing sadness, happiness, emotion, all this stuff. But when we go back, we ain't gonna experience. This. It's gonna be no emotion. I've been there, so I know. I know I'm talking about here, right? So, um, when you like, it's fun to us as spirits before we knew this was a game. Before you got your amnesia, to have the war within. It gives you something to conquer. It gives you something to do. Because if you came here and you're just moving your higher self all the time without nothing telling you to do something lower. It wouldn't be as fun. This is fun. This is this is an experience. A hum, you're a spiritual being having a human experience of God particle energy. That's what you are. Believe it or not. Well, go do some high dose rooms and you'll tell me how how you what was going on. If you're not a bot, some people are just bots. Some people, some people just don't just exist just to be here. Like you ain't trying to do nothing. You just really don't have a spirit. Some people really don't have spirits. Just so y'all know, just like part of like the Sims game, like the construct. Some people are like 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 the person that. When you got like, somewhere to go and they like they like move in front of you like where the hell you come from and you driving slow as hell but many people out here that are walking around protesting and have your mask on bots 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 there's not that many that have real actual spirits hmm there's not many not as many as you may think many bots many bots <laughs> but this type of information i'll be talking about on um <laughs> Patreon because the shit I be talking about, oh, public can't handle that right now because too many bots on public. <laughs> you know what I mean? Seriously. Is your mind in your body or is your body in your mind? Your spirit's in your body and the mind is the controller. The mind is like the computer that controls the body. Sends signals down, but the spirit tells the mind what to do. Mind projects images of this holographic universe that we're living in. The mind. The mind is a gift. The mind was the best gift you ever had. The mind is, thought is all, right? Thought is all. The mind is a gift. The body is also a gift. Biological avatar, gift. Biological robot, gift. Spirit enters into that in the mother's womb. Hmm? Breath of life, hmm? That's how you live. <sighs> Breathing life, breath of life. Hmm. <sighs> Breathe. They're telling you not to breathe. <sighs> breathe it all in. Breath of life. <sighs> Does it feel good? Breathing that oxygen. <sighs> Breath of life. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Energy. As I'm getting light information right now. Hmm? If you want to go outside and get charged up by the sun, show your back to the sun. Sun as in Kundalini up to the spine, to the pineal gland. Hmm. Show your back to the sun. Mm-hmm. Mm, feel that charge. Not the heat. Charge. Mm? If you're melanated, the more melanin you have, the better conductor you are for energy. Mm? <laughs> melanin is a gift, people. Some have less, some have more, but everybody has melanin. Even white people. They just have less, 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 less melanin. But they have it. Otherwise, it couldn't be existence. Mm? <laughs> you know? And it, people got mad questions on here. If you want to ask questions, just go on my Patreon. You can ask me one on one. We could talk. We could like you could like we do Zooms where you could interact with each other. Like we interact, we talk. We have like three, four hour conversations. A straight building, like straight building. You know what I mean? Herataki is not supposed to make you feel stoned at all. It's not something that gets you high. It's something that gets you connected, tuned in, locked in. <laughs> Herataki, you may you may be connecting. <laughs> you like is this high? You know, you're just elevating. So you are getting high, elevating, but not that kind of high, not the lower vibrational kind of high. You're just elevating. Huh? Huh? I know the difference between a soul and a spirit. Hmm? They're the same thing. You do have an oversoul, though. You do have that. Does the soul belong to you? Well, <laughs> complex question. Yes and no. <laughs> you are just a traveler inside, you know? The next Patreon, the next Zoom inside Patreon. It's today at five o'clock. I'm doing a Zoom. You know, five o'clock. Hmm. We have a private WhatsApp group where we talk all the time on the WhatsApp group. Just building. 
people sharing videos, different perspectives. I love different perspectives. I don't care where you are on your journey. You got something to offer. That's why I be trying to tell people like, yo, I don't care where you at. Where you at in your journey? You got something to offer. Stop thinking you are, stop thinking so less of yourself. Y'all be thinking so less of yourself. You have to think more of yourself. How do you get more when you don't think you deserve it? Hmm? How are you getting more when you don't think you deserve it? Hmm? How are you going to get out of your poverty if you're always talking and thinking poverty? You don't think wealth. You don't move in wealth. So you're always going to reflect your total thoughts of yourself. Because your thoughts make you act. Like the fear has made you put the mask on and be afraid or listen to mute news. Right? Don't give people that don't deserve your power, your power. Hmm? Give yourself your power so you can stop being an empty cup, pouring into glasses without any, any, any water. You have nothing to give. So you're trying to give that too? You're trying to give your fear energy too? Damn, bruh. Sis, for real. Know who you are, discover yourself. You'll find out that we were once a great people and we are still great people, but we just forgot. You know, we're not slaves. We're not. Can't be. Hm. I refuse to be a slave. I refuse to live in fear. I refuse it. I refuse it. Hmm? Seriously. Is your mind inside your body? or your, You keep on asking me these questions, but I just told you how to get the answer. You want to have these full, complex conversations. It's not a simple answer sometimes. I told you how to find me. Go to my Patreon. You know, I took a break from here for four months. But if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me, join my Patreon. Because I don't know who you are. Hmm? Don't think you can just badger me with questions. <laughs> and I'm going to just answer you. I have no fear of you. <laughs> no disrespect, but I have none fear. You're not going to just make me answer your question because you wanted to ask it. Huh? You want to connect? I gave you a re I gave you a way to connect. Connect or shut the hell up. Simple. I love you still though. <laughs> I love you still. You know what I mean? Has anybody got outside today or you're cooped up in the house? Hmm? Cooped up in the house or outside? Oh my God, it's so hot. It's hot. I'm burning up. And you're getting charged up and your body's not used to it because you're not outside. You're cooped up in a house. Somebody help me. What's the Patreon? Patreon.com forward slash Mr. Intensity. I-N number 10 S-I-T-Y. Patreon.com forward slash Mr. Intensity. Mr. I-N number 10 S-I-T-Y. Hmm? Mr. Intensity. Hmm? Because this guy is different than the old guy you knew because I constantly evolve and challenge myself. And when I go deep, deep, I come back different. I come back different. I go deep, 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 deep. Like Kalindi, deep, deep, deep. Like 30, 40 grams, like, like deep, deep, deep. Like 20, 30, 40. <laughs> I'm going deep. <laughs> I want to find out everything. And sometimes I go so deep that I get questions answered that I didn't really want to know. <laughs> like the last time I did, I, I went, I did some Iboga. And yo, I got some answers that I didn't want to get answered. But they said, nope, you're in. You're going to get them all. <laughs> you're going to get them all. I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to get them all, all. <laughs> and I got them all. <laughs> so then I come back with a different perspective. Plants are here as a portal. Whether it's your nature's plants, like your kale, your food, your nourishment. Whether it's your harataki, a little higher level. Whether it's other stuff that I talk about on my Patreon. You know? For real. For real. I need your I need your energy. We all need each other's energy. We have to connect with each other. We have to build with each other. We have to be around like-minded individuals who want to grow because you know, there's not so many people who thinks on a higher vibrational level out of fear. And even if you're somebody who feels fear, if you're around individuals who don't feel fear, you'll have less fear. You will have less fear. You know what I mean? You'll have less fear. Because you'll see like, damn, what is the big deal? Like, 
Yo, we all got to die someday. Why am I do it in fear? <laughs> Forget it. So I told, I told my people, like, I was like, I told my pops, right? I'm like, yo, if the coronavirus get me, shit, good shit. I'm going to give you that for that. Because if you get somebody like me that's living in an alkaline state, good shit. It was my time. Good shit. I'll give you dap on that, Corona. <laughs> you get me. Because <laughs> guess what? I'm going to die with a smile on my face, regardless of what time it is. Yeah? Yeah? Because I know what's next. No, I don't sell boga. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah? For real. Get outside. Live in less fear. Charge yourself up with, with sunlight energy while they're not blocking it out. Like today, I don't see no chemtrails, so they ain't blocking it out today. So get out there. Yes, the Heritaki is strong. Everything I sell is strong. <laughs> Why would I get some bull crap for y'all? Everybody else sell y'all bull crap. Tell y'all bull crap. Lie to y'all all time. I can't do that. I gotta give you truth at all times. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but um, been on here for a little while now. I didn't realize it was even almost an hour. I was just just play ball today. Had a little swim. Came out of retirement. I've been I've been I ain't balling like four months. Played outside so. Body was sore. I feel like I hit with a Mack truck today. So I was in a pool, you know, trying to trying to get some sunlight, trying to trying to get some little therapy, whatever, you know. Probably go sit in the ice bath after this and uh, get in the oxygen chamber, <laughs> and then do my Patreon, do my Zoom video. I put the link up in the Patreon. If y'all join Patreon, I'll put the link up for the Zoom. Only males today, though. Only the men. Only the men. Only the men. Yeah, it's no chemtrails in the sky up here either. You see, no chemtrails today. I don't see none. No chemtrails. None. None. Where do I recommend? Listen, I can't talk about it online as far as where to get it from because in America, anything that's like that, like it's illegal, they say. So um, if anybody wants to know, you hit me up on a private tip and I give you the information of where to go get it or whatever because I went to Mexico to take it the first time, but then I, um, then I, then I, then I found a better, a better source, you know? Um, but yeah, yeah. This, was, this is going to be a day of building, a year of building. And if y'all feel like, like, I'm tired of people telling me that this year is like a wash. Like, what? What? A wash? How is it a wash? What have you been doing? How is this year a wash? What? What you been doing while you been sitting at home? Nothing. How is this year a wash? What? This was the best year ever. Ever. If you're using your time wisely, wash, yeah. washing the old habits away, I wash that away. Washing the old thought process away, wash that away. Washing the old system away, wash that away. Washing the fact that we think we're slaves, wash that away. Wash, it's a wash for that. Please, yes, out of chaos come order. It always has to be chaos for order. <laughs> Any civilization that ever wanted freedom always fought for it. What makes you think we pray, we, us protesting is going to make a difference? Pfft. What? Protesting? All right. Y'all go ahead. Y'all go ahead. Black Lives Matter. Y'all didn't even create it. George Soros did. He created Black Lives Matter. <laughs> but go ahead. Do what y'all do. Black lives do matter. They do. They do. <laughs> but they don't respect your life because you're a slave. Debt slave. Hmm? They legally can kill you. They just lock, they just, they locking them up now because people are really tripping right now. You know, people really going in. So they got to make y'all happy. And yo, ch yo, check this y'all. Hey, don't fall for the tricks though. Like reparation, like don't take the money. Don't take the money. <gasps> don't take the money. No, because by taking the money, you're, you perpetuate their system. You know, who created the money? Whose face is on the money? You know, I'm just, I'm just like, seriously, who, who, who created the money? And Shamika, if you see my Patreon, you see like 60 videos up there. <laughs> like 60 videos. You know? I sound like Kevin Hart, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we both from Philly. <laughs> you know? You know, but um, I mean, when it comes down to it, uh, I want y'all to just be safe. Do what y'all do. And don't accept the bull crap. Research everything. Look into everything. They tell you to go right. Look into how to go left. You know? Because it's so easy to manipulate you right now. It's not even funny. L literally, it's not funny. Because it's very easy to manipulate your mind, your body, and your spirit. Because your spirit's not beat, but you, you've, you've blocked it out so, for so many years, you forgot what your good spirit, 
your higher self even sounds like. Because you've just like, you, you hit the mute button all the time. Like for real, you know? And I'm sure a lot of people are going to say a lot about this. Like, they're con like I put like a little short video on my Facebook. I'm seeing a lot of comments. I keep on telling people I don't debate facts, but they still going to try to say something. <sighs> Boy, I'm just trying to help individuals. And sometimes people really don't want help. They want me to like agree with them and go along with their lies and their fear to fit in. But I'm not interested in fitting in. I'm interested in the right thing. And if I see a mass amount of people who are doing the wrong thing, I'm still not going to follow them, even though, like, like if a bunch, if a bunch of people, like I tell my kids, like, if a bunch of people walked off the bridge, if it's like a hundred thousand, would you do it? Like, would you actually do it because everybody's doing it? Like, would you follow the crowd? You know? Would you follow the crowd? Because me personally, I don't love this system. Not if we don't have the power that we need. Not if we're not looked at as our real actual people like our power I don't love this system but that's the problem some people they love this system and they don't know what else to do because they refuse to educate their minds like not the education that you get in school also known as indoctrination i'm talking about the education of the mental that you can put into yourself like you can choose what goes into your mind after a certain age like you don't have to go to school all the time you know you can actually school yourself all the time because i guarantee that schooling, which is led by your higher self, is going to propel you to greatness. Like, it's imminent. Who that? Oh, she home? Oh, so, yeah. You know? Seriously. What's in the woods over there? Hopefully a bear don't come out of that. <laughs> but if it do, I'm in the pool. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm gonna get up out of here. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do in another video. I just had this on my mind. I actually didn't, I didn't plan on doing a YouTube video for quite a while, probably a little longer. Who knows? I'm just developing, you know? I just get bored talking about the same thing over and over again when we have so, we have so many issues to talk about. You know I got the great supplements. You know that. How many times I got to tell you how to take them? Oh, look, you can go online and schedule a consultation and you can call me at the scheduled time and we can have a conversation for real. Because I require more real interactions than fake. Hmm? I do. I wanna see what I wanna see what that energy about. I wanna see what that energy about. What's that energy looking like? Because I can feel your energy over the phone. I'm empathic, like crazy. So I can feel all of your energy over the phone. Hmm? <laughs> well, besides that, I'm gonna get up out of here. I love y'all. And to the next video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, do what you gotta do. Join my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Mr. Intensity, M-R-I-N number 10, S-I-T-Y. Hmm? Patreon.com forward slash Mr. Intensity. Talk to y'all soon. Peace.